The next one is about uh, QG's website renovation that has been going on uh, recently. And I welcome Aliaxandra uh, from Contour. And um, yeah, feel free to start. Thanks for coming. Oh, it's working. I hope I'm not looking as an elf <laughs> from Lord of the Rings with these ears. So yeah, let's start. Uh, I'm here to tell you about the QGIS org website renovation and sharing some experience on our work. Yep. My name is Alexandra, and please don't ask me to pronounce my surname because it's difficult even for me to do. Uh, I'm a UX designer from Contour, and actually I have a bachelor degree in GIS and geography. And QGIS have a really great impact on me because I made a lot of student work with QGIS tool. But yeah, recently I switched to UX design, and now I have a job of my dream. I design maps and GIS, uh, GIS interfaces. So what I would like to tell you today about, first of all, I would like to uh, say about what the problem was with the website from the first look, why Contour decided to join and how we applied to this opportunity. Uh, how did we solve the existing problem of the website and what we got as the result uh, in the final. So yeah, how it actually started, uh, there was the call of proposals from QJ's community on their blog website, uh, where uh, QJS team members said that there were some problems with website and something should be done with it. And this opportunity looked really interesting for us. And here is how the website looked like. So I would like to ask you to raise up your hand if you remember how old website looked like. Does some of you remember? Oh, great. Thank you very much. So from the first look, it looked quite good. I would say it worked at least, right? It had some style, of course. But as you can see, just like an example of get involved for development section, it has quite difficult structure and especially new users of the website, they were, uh, it was quite hard for them to navigate through it. So from the first expression, it was really a great problem. And of course, this problem was not only on the main website, but also of, on some related websites. Of course, it also worked. Uh, it also helped uh, QJS community and new users. But it also had a lot of contact, a lot of some uh, sections, information. It, it should be handled somehow, at least visually. So I would like to tell you why Contour decided to join this opportunity and how we were accepted by QJS committee. Uh, first of all, we are really nice and friendly people. Uh, it's probably will be one of the reason, but of course, uh, it's not the only one. Uh, we are known in JS sector for almost 20 years. Our main focus is disaster management solutions, but we also have really huge experience in JS development, UX research, we created a lot of data sets and a lot of other things. And we already collaborated with a lot of governmental, humanitarian, private organizations. And Basically, uh, our values aligned well with the QJS community values. We are committed to open source. Uh, we have a lot of repositories publicly available for everyone. And we contributed a lot to the open source, or to OpenStreetMap, to PostJS. We have a memorandum of understanding with the humanitarian OpenStreetMap team on improving the open aerial map website. And recently we uh, joined uh, forces with QJS community 
For example, recently we helped with the organization of QJS user uh, conference in Sponsne, Poland. So to achieve any goal, you need to a clear plan on how you will achieve it. So we decided to prepare it in the beginning. First of all, we need to clearly understand what we will do and to research the problem. Then we should revise website structure a bit. Of course, we need to think about the visual design and visual style in general, how it will look like uh, to make um, and user experience and development experience easier. We should think about components because from compo when you are creating something from uh, similar blocks, it will be much more easier. And of course, in the end, uh, we can play Lego a little bit. We can try to develop everything uh, using these components, combining several blocks in something really interesting. So first of all, we started with research. We installed Matoma tool to gather some insights on the current QJS org website. We collected a lot of uh, information on the behavior of the users, especially what the browsers uh, they use, what languages, uh, what uh, devices they are using, and maybe it will be a surprise, but the English language is the most popular one with the uh, website users. And very interesting thing that we found out during the research is that download page is the absolute leader in website visits. So yeah, this really uh, important page to have a easier way to get to. Then uh, it's quite important to really understand for whom you are developing something, no matter if it's a website or just like a tool. We uh, made a user groups activity inside the contour. And after talking with QJS team, we understood that there are like three main groups on which we should focus during the designing and development. Uh, one of them could be uh, the representer of one of them could be a user who has experience in GIS who would like to download the app and to make something with the help of it with some documentation. The other one could be project contributor who would like to develop something with QGIS. And one really important thing is well, one of them could be a kind of enthusiast who would like to fund the community. And all of them have their points of interest. <clears throat> These are not all of them. That's just like the main uh, list of some of them on which we, we decided to focus more. We worked a lot together with QGIS team on redesigning the website structure. We had several discussions on it and came up with uh, some solution, which you can see on the screen. We had new sections, which were called product, community, download, resources, and donate. Uh, these sections should be easily reachable for new users. And on the example of community section, you can see that there are not so many sections inside of it, right? It's more easy to see all of them and to navigate. And like visual representer of the new website structure is the header itself. Uh, we applied QJS visual style guide some of our ideas, of course, new sections, and came up with this solution. But you, as you can see, uh, it's not so simple as it could be, because this header had a secret. So uh, it's very important to say that it was a request from QJS community to think about the seamless navigation between all the websites that QGIS community have, like plugins, feed, documentation, and so on. And we came up with this idea of 
uh, header with these specific uh, things. So as you can see, the upper header has just simple view. It's for the main website. And for example, for plugins QGIS org, you can see that the sections of concrete website is on the dark part of the header. And when you are on plugins QGIS org, when you understand that you spent too much time on the dark side of the header, you can easily switch to the light one. You can choose any section of the uh, main website and navigate to it, of course. And of course, we thought about adaptivity already, and we uh, created an adaptive version of header. When we finished with header, we started to think about the main page and in general how the website will look like. Uh, there were already several concepts proposed by QGIS community in Figma, and there were really great sessions where community discussed what, how websites should look like. So in control, we decided to continue this approach. Uh, of course, we proposed some development to it, uh, but in general, we saved some blocks, some ideas of community and implemented it. And uh, of course, some developments have already started in QGIS Hugo repository. There were already some pages developed and we also had a look at it and on its visuals, how it looked like and also use some ideas further. And this is uh, the concept proposed by Contour. This is a con concept that was created for the main page. As you can see, yes, we used some elements which you uh, noticed earlier on the community ideas. We already thought how blocks of information can look like, and this is the uh, open source community power uh, example of block. And we've started to think on the general concept of design and creating some components that can be used for the design for inner pages. Uh, this is just an example of the component with some information, with some titles, some buttons. It can be used in different colors. Uh, you can use uh, a lot of buttons inside of it and of course, uh, adaptivity is the main uh, point here. We thought about different resolutions and prepared these blocks for different formats. One of the uh, important components is sidebar. You can see that it's also adaptive, can be used in different resolutions and screens. Uh, and can be used anywhere on the website, of course. And here is an example uh, of the inner page uh, where you can see some combined uh, components gathered together, how it works, and of course, how it looked on the mobile devices. Case okay, studies page. Everything we developed on the existing QGIS Hyuga repository uh, for the convenience, we used folders to collect uh, styles, uh, components on different ones. So it will be easy for, it was easy for us and it will be easy for uh, developers in the future. And here is the result uh, with what we came up with. Quite good website. It's also working, thankfully. It also has uh, the style of QGIS uh, community, QGIS style guide, and it also looked great on the mobile devices. And to wrap up my presentation, I would like to say that everything we uh, discussed with the QGIS team is recorded in our metrics chat. It is still open and available. If you will have any ideas 
proposals for the website, please feel free to write your thoughts right there. And of course, in QGIS Hyuga repository, you can find some interesting information from us that we left in the readme file, and also some tickets we created in QGIS Hyuga website, where you can find some links to documents, links to Figma, and etc. And thank you very much for your attention. It was quite hard to complete everything in 20 minutes. I can speak about new website for hours, but I did my best to do it. Thank you for your attention. I will be really glad to answer questions if any. Awesome, thank you very much. So, uh, question please. How will you continue now? Do you still have funding for more work on the website or is it in the hands of the community? Could you repeat, please? Um, what will the future be like now? Do you still have funding from QGIS or is it now a part of QGIS community work to improve the website? Uh, speaking about the main website, uh, now it's uh, like a job for community to improve it further. Please feel free to make some uh, adjustments, proposals, like we, I finished with our work. Uh, we put it our hands up. We made everything we could. We gave you the fundamentals, the base, the style, so community can easily uh, develop anything via the website. But uh, there is some work still should be done in the QGIS related website. And if there will be some uh, like call for proposals, some agreements with us, with QGIS community, we will be really glad to continue our collaboration and help the community with the rest of the website. All right, and more questions. Uh, thank you for the presentation. So, uh, two questions mainly. Um, what is behind the technology, uh, Angular, React, or Vue.js on the front-end technology? Do you know? We used Hugo framework. Ah, Hugo. So, yes. Okay. okay. All right, thanks. And the second question is, actually, how your role uh, looks like uh, as a UX designer, you sh probably you are very close with the uh, front-end developer. So, could you say something more about details of your work, how you prepare the mockup with, uh, in the Figma, how you pass these requirements to the front-end de uh, developer, uh, your, you know, um, cooperation with the development team? Mm -hmm. yeah? Okay, so uh, um, we have, like, the whole team in Contour who worked on it. I was there as a UX design and project manager. Also, we had one uh, UX designer who had uh, experience with front-end developer, one more front-end developer, and also one more front-end developer and back-end developer, yes. So four people from Contour worked on it yeah, in really close collaboration with the QJS team. Uh, mostly we developed everything while uh, working on this project, but we, uh, if i not mistaken, we had almost every week a uh, call with the QGIS. We showed our progress, we saw, um, we gathered some feedback from them, improved something, and that's what like a really great collaboration, how we work together. So yeah, in general, yeah, hope I answered your questions. Yeah, thank you. All right, some more questions? Uh, okay, if... Thanks, Oda, I apologize, I joined you a bit later, but I was wondering whether uh, from the uh, maintenance and operating uh, point of view, uh, whether there is uh, at least one, let's say, day-to-day -day editor who is uh, taking care of the content on the, let's say, backend side. And the second question, uh, or maybe two, to uh, relate it, 
is uh, whether uh, when the new content is provided into, into the website, whether this content is somehow indexed by some keywords to better, uh, uh, let's say, arrange the, the content articles inside, or it's really uh, searchable only via titles and the content of the articles inside. And finally, what about the monitoring of the of the traffic on the website, whether you are using just the Google Analytics or you you are planning or the, let's say community behind is planning to have some, uh, let's say, uh, deeper insights about the traffic behind the website. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and about the first part of the question, uh, we, uh, when we developed the website, we really thought that it will be useful to search for the content on the search field on the header. So yeah, I hope it still works, this idea of us. And the second, we still have Matoma installed and the statistic is still gathering there. Uh, so QJS committee probably have the access to it if there will be any questions on what is the statistic about it, who are the users, how to understand them, what are they doing with the website. I think you can still reach out to them to ask what is the insights. Yeah, personally, I also checked Matoma not so long ago, and the statistic is working. Something is gathering, very interesting, yeah, to have a look. Uh, all right, I think we have maybe chance for one more question, if there is any. Um, but if not, uh, thank you very much again for bringing such a nice website uh, for the QGIS community. And uh, there is a small gift for uh, speakers. Thank so you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks for to community for the trust. We will really love to continue collaborating with you all. And I have a small note: we have some leaflets uh, without uh, with information about Contour, some stickers. If you're collecting them, please feel free to take any of them. And yeah, during the conference, please feel free to reach out. Uh, we are open to collaborations, to working on something interesting. So you will see this uh, T-shirt. I can be easily, uh, can be easy, how to say, visible. Awesome. Yeah. Thank All you right. very much once again. Thank you.